Hi, I'm Lisa Squire, Senior Communications Advisor with Alberta Health Services, and this is Health Matters. Joining me today is Dr. Lena Deary Gillespie, and she's Southzone's newest Medical Officer of Health. Today, we're going to be talking about influenza and the importance of immunization. So welcome, thanks for joining me today. So who should be getting the influenza immunization and why is this so important? Really any Albertan over the age of six months should be getting um, an influenza immunization. Um, that includes pregnant ladies and that includes breastfeeding mothers as well. Um, there are some people who are at a higher risk of complications if they got influenza, but anyone can get influenza, so we want to protect everyone out there. Particularly, we want to take the opportunity to protect these little ones under six months of age because they can't get the vaccination themselves. We really encourage the families or people who look after children under six months of age to come out and get vaccinated because that's our best option to protect those little ones. It's really important because influenza is very communicable, easy to spread, and can cause really serious injury, um, illness, or death. And it's a big burden on our healthcare system as well. We have limited resources, and when we use them to fight uh, an illness that could have been prevented, we take them away from, from other healthcare opportunities. And so we really encourage everyone to get out and, and take the opportunity to prevent something rather than just react after the fact. And when people get immunized, how can they make sure that their immunization is protecting them? Well, last year, I think people know there was a bit of mismatch between the vaccine strains that were included in the immunizations and what we saw causing the, the heavy disease burden last year. That's unfortunate. It happens because the World Health Organization has to pick based on the strain information they have, and sometimes there is a mismatch. The vaccines last year worked very well against the strains that were included in there, but at the time they didn't cover all of the strains that we ended up seeing and because of that we saw what the natural health burden of influenza can be and it's severe. So in, immunization is still our best opportunity to prevent illness in people so we encourage everyone to get out, get immunized because that's the best opportunity to prevent. This isn't a disease that's curable or really treatable, it is something that is preventable. And when and where can people get their immunizations? Sure. Public health clinics are, do, are have the responsibility for vaccinating under age nine, so most public health-led clinics will do the children. Um, but there's also opportunities in community clinics and with our community partners like pharmacists or some doctor's offices to get out and get immunized. There's also going to be in Medicine Hat on November 9th a flu -a palooza, which is a great time to come out and get your immunizations as well. And is there anything else that you want people out there to know, especially parents who might be getting their children immunized for the first time? One thing we do want to take the opportunity is to remind people that children under nine getting their vaccine for the first time actually require two doses. So they need to get a second dose four weeks after their first dose or anytime after four weeks. So we really encourage the parents to make sure they remember to get that second dose for those kids being immunized for the first time. Thank you so much for being here today and thanks to all of you for watching. If you're looking for information about an immunization clinic near you, uh, check out Alberta Health Services website. I'm Lisa Squires and this is Health Matters.